Hello, my beautiful people from Otoshebo Mama. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Thank you. One love. Bye bye. The reason why we are looking into the security of the state is because it's one of the major challenges we have in the state. But as we speak right now, it is so very overt to a lot of people. The amount of proactiveness that have been jailed towards security in Edo State. Our people have shown great enthusiasm to make sure we have the best for our dear states. We are going to do all the best we can do to enhance the security of the state. All this why a lot of us, we've always wanted to see the stakeholders, the coordinators, and today it is something we now know. I've even spoken with so many. So I have so great confidence to begin to give in uh, give in my own support and begin to call on the concerts of great I do people I have to begin to employ their interests towards the security of the states. Having our own people, our own brothers, being in charge of the security of the state, it will favor us than any other thing. So we must showcase great interest, just like we have always demonstrated our ardent desire during campaign and election. The reason why we got the result we have today was because a lot of people employed enthusiasm, financial assistance, intellectual assistance, and that was why we were able to get the victory we got. So now we are fighting hard to tackle the insecurity in the state. We now have a better platform. We now have a security network. We must come up together to build up the security network to be the first security body we should look onto before we talk about any other security body in the state. We must begin to showcase our great enthusiasm. A lot of us all came together, so many, so many groups of people came together, so many organizations came together to make sure that we have a kind of representative in government we have today in Edo State. So we are going to do likewise to tackle the insecurity in the state. So many of our brothers have shown great interest and great passion to be part and to be involved to make sure that we have a secure state. We are not going to leave these people stranded. We are going to begin to look into the challenges and begin to face them. I have spoken with some of the leaders and we have come to the conclusion that it is not even proper we come out on social media to begin to talk about the challenges of the vigilante. Because you coming out to hear out your challenges is just like you're giving your enemies your secrets to come down to attack you with what you don't have. So we are going to create a better platform to bring in people with great enthusiasm to tackle the insecurity in the state. We're going to involve the people who have the ardent desire to have the best in the state. They will begin to shine the challenges of the vigilante on that platform. We challenge, the, we challenge the challenges through the platform so that they can have all it takes to secure the state. And our enemies, they will not be able to know what we have and what we don't have because that is our true strength. Of course, Vigilante, my major support, I have a lot, but I am not going to say that here because it's not something that should be said here. It is something that has to be discussed with the stakeholders. My confidence is built already. 
haven't got to know stakeholders, haven't got to know the leaders, haven't got to know the people who advocated, people who came together, who brought in this idea, who brought in this great initiative. And they are strongly on ground to defend the initiative because it is an excellent one to help us solve the insecurity in the state. So right now, Vigilante is a platform to transform lives. We are going to have people sponsored to go for security careers, even outside this country. So we are not going to be shining the support we want through the social media because we know not everyone actually is interested. Because those who have found criminality as way of life can never be happy with the vigilante. They can never be happy with the creation. There is as an, an excellent peace, excellent tranquility in the state as we speak. Because the little effort the leaders and the vigilantes have put in within this short period, we have seen good results. Good results. Good results. And better system, as we speak, is being created to make sure that we have a standard security through the vigilante. Standard security service through the vigilante. So my major appeal goes to the state government. There is no need we begin to beat around the bush and continue fighting for what we don't have and what we cannot achieve. We cannot have strangers, people who do not know their characters, to come protect us. It is better we have our own people to oversee the security of the state. Every other security body can support. There is no problem. But the major security body we should be looking into right now is the vigilante. Because the vigilante has the, 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 the strength to reach the utmost part of the entire land, even to the villages. For so many years, we've not been able to cover security boundaries, even to extend the boundaries up to places, a lot of places in the states, even villages. But with this vigilante, it is very easy, even you come to a very typical village, but the security dead will be, the security dead will be very tight. The security right there will be very tight. So it is only through this security network we can have this achieved. And getting to know and getting to know the personnel involved as the stakeholders, the coordinators, I am so very, very elated to begin to project my support. It's not just going to be on social media, but it's something that has to be do, that has to be done, closed doors, something that has to be discussed with only the security body it is something we just have to discuss and we are working so hard on it because one good turns that says deserves an order the beginning is very good now so a better system is being created to have the going very smooth and the end very perfect there is every tendency and possibilities to have boys you are using to work to be corrupt. But if you as a leader of a group is not corrupt, there is no way the very group will be bastardized. But when the boys are corrupt and the leaders are corrupt, then there will be chances to begin to speak against the body or the group. So, haven't seen the coordinators, my people, I must tell you all, there is a new dawn of a better way of solving our insecurity in the state. I've got to see their tenacity. I've got to see their enthusiasm, their passion towards securing the state. And their track records are there. So, we must begin to bring in our support to support our people. Those who have voices, those who have the connections to reach out to the state government. The state government actually have to bring in a lot of effort, financial effort, financial support. We want the security network to be the major security we have in the state. 
So please, instead of spending so much on systems that have failed, let us energize this one that have come to help situations and create better system around them to make sure that they being able to give us what we want in the state. These are people that we speak the same language with. When we speak, they understand. And we all are going to be in it all together. So it is time to fortify the security of the state. It is time to fortify our own territory. And the only way we can have our territory well secured without any sabotage is when we have our own people there. We must have our own people there. There is a great agenda that is moving on in Nigeria that most people don't know. That's why you see some ethnic groups, they leave their own village, they leave their own country uh, states, and they get into other people's states in groups that don't go alone. And it is a very big security threat to the entire country. 2006, when I left Edo State, down to the east, to school, I went there on my own. Because I know what I am going out there to achieve, it is something that is very eligible. Something that is very credible. Something that is worth pursuing. Something that I know will not put me in problem when I get to the east. And when I got there, I focused on the purpose and I was able to achieve the best out of it. That even today, the land, I cannot actually say I was born, have good record of me. So having some people living their own villages in groups, and when they come to your own country, to your own state, they don't go to look for apartment to rent on their own. They will look for a place they can as well stay in group. If they want to do business, they look for a place they can stay in group. For a very long time, a lot of us have always been talking about it as unity. It is not. If you don't have evil intentions, if you have the intention of behaving in the like manner of the in a place where you are going to, you don't need to be in group to be strong. We all have our different beliefs. You cannot leave your own place and come to another place trying to exhibit your own culture over another person's culture. This is where the conflict is actually is coming from. This is why a lot of people are beginning to speak about the agenda that some people want to take over for no just cost. Taking over Nigeria is not the solution we need right now. Projecting yourself to be the most superior and the most powerful ethnic group in Nigeria is not the solution we want right now. So the people trying to project this kind of idea, I strongly believe they are with a very severe ignorance. What we need right now is to make our place a better place for ourselves. And it begins with you. Start from your own place. If there is any culture you are holding so strong to, that you feel this belief is part of you, you can't go away from it. Then, before you leave your own place, you need to study much about where you are going. If where you are going we accept your lifestyle, then you can go and begin to live that lifestyle. Don't come into a place and begin to exhibit things on your own, just the way it's been practiced in your own place. Forgetting that these very people don't have your way of practice. This is where the conflict is actually coming out from. If you come to Benin, you should be able to behave like Benin people. If you come to Benin, you should be able to follow the laid down principles. There are things we cannot do. I, as I speak to you, there are things I cannot do in this land. Why? Because 
the culture for it. The principles of good life for it. So if you come in, you must adhere to this same lifestyle. If you are not ready, then stay in your place. Freedom of movement is not a yastic for nuisance. Everybody, we must be very careful with ourselves. Because as we speak right now, people don't longer have the patience to use the law to solve any issues around them. People not take laws into their hands. Into their hands. Look at the case that happened in Benin a few days ago. A young man has been coming to collect tickets from you people as answers. If you find it to be a thing of extortion, you find it something that is not supposed to be, you're supposed to channel your report. You should have leaders. You take the report to the appropriate place and they follow it up to apprehend the person. Even the place you're living in. There are landlords there. There are Ojo there. There are Inogis there. You take such report to them. Then taking your own, taking laws into your own hands to have a human being burnt down. And you were expecting what? After burning somebody down. And you were expecting what? So even to allow people who are leaving their place down to another place in groups, you are risking your lives. Because a lot of you actually have good intentions. But if you look at the damage caused to that outside quarters in Benin, you will be very surprised. A lot of people did not partake in burning down that human being. But they all suffered it. The whole place was leveled. So if you know you have good intentions of leaving home to look for a better life, go to a place and rent an apartment. We have cheap apartments in Benin here. There are some houses you can pay for 1500 And it is time we talk to people who are giving these people lands for them to begin to build things that are so unreasonable, bash out and begin to live in. Stop giving them lands like that. Let them go and rent a room. If a landlord gives house to one person at the end, that's seen out to about three or four people. If the landlord complains, it's not because of he doesn't want his toilet to get filled. It is a very big insecurity. A very big insecurity. To have even up to about six people in a room, in your house, is a big insecurity. People can come and visit and go, but they bring in their own bags and they begin to live in. Meanwhile, one person came to rent. You give them land, all of them begin to build, bash out down, begin to live. Begin to call other of their brothers who do not even have anything to come to the state and begin to do, who don't even have business, who do not have any skills, who do not have any profession. They will congest themselves with cows coming from the north and they come down to the place. They, they go to such quarters. You get into such quarters, you so, you so are balling. So please, I'm not trying to be tribalistic here, but let us respect each other in this country. There is no need of us fighting to be too strong as an ethnic group. It, 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 we don't need it. It's not the problem of Nigeria. And it, it is not going to solve anything in Nigeria. Live the way you want to live. If you come into to another person's place and you know you will not live the way they are living, don't leave your place. Stay there, die there and be buried there with your beliefs and your lifestyle. And stop coming to inconvenience other people. Freedom of movement does not mean you should come into somebody's land and begin to inconvenience the people. So please, let us respect each other. This is the reason why we need our own security. 
We need our own people to secure the land. We fortify them. We made them strong. We make sure there is no equipment they don't have. We make them get ready, not just only for the courtes. We make them get ready even for war. Though we don't pray for war. No one prays for it. But of course, we are living with a lot of people who are so ignorant who do not reason. So these people can cause that havoc tomorrow. And before you know it, it will just set. What will you do? What will you do? You don't need war, but many people need war. So prepare, even though you don't need the war. A lot of people want war. Because of the hard life they live. And despite I'm not from the north, but we are one Nigeria. I want to digress a little and encroach with all humility. The stakeholders in the north, the leaders in the north, it is time you liberate your own people. It is time you liberate your own people. Stop encouraging the population without any provision to take care of the population. You are, you are encouraging the population because you want to have highest numbers of votes to get into power. But when you get into power, the people you encourage to be so populous, what provision do you have for them? We see a lot of them come from the north. You, you marvel. Sometimes you ask yourself, oh God, you see people living, living completely out of being a human. You feel pity. Pardon me to say this. Pardon me to say this. Liberate your people. Emancipate your people. The leaders in the north. Help your people. We know there are a lot of responsible ones. But the ones that are going about without any good care, they are too much. They are too much. The, one going, the ones going around constitution news us, they are too much. You encourage them to be many. They got to a level, they find nothing for them in the place, and they move into another place. So that is my advice to the north. Help your people, emancipate them, liberate them. The oppression is enough. They are humans. Don't encourage them to come in large numbers without any provision for them. So my dear people, we are not coming out here on social media to begin to talk about security challenge, what we have and what we don't have. Because if you come out to say what you don't have, it's just like you are telling your enemy what you don't have so that they can come with those things to destroy you. So as we speak now, the security network have been receiving a lot of support. And we are going to create a proper platform for it to make sure that people with great passion towards helping the security in the state begin to come in with their intellectual support, with their financial support and otherwise. And basically, I do state play, I do state government, we should invest, we should invest, I mean invest a lot in this very security network. Please, please, it will help us a lot. It will help us a lot. This can cover our entire territory. The security network can cover our entire territory. Our entire territory. So please, it is a time for us to begin to support and love our own, not to begin to talk against or being against our own. Few people who will be against, they are out there because the network, might, the security network might not be favorable to them. Yes, of course, the security network can never be favorable to those who, are, who have taken criminality as a way of living. Never. It's never going to be favorable. So there must be people to talk against the security body. There is no problem. As time goes on, we also group them where they belong. We make sure we put them where they belong. So we are going to have everything we need to have. If you come into the state to do any horrible thing, you are going to see horrible thing from us. So we are going to fortify the security network to that level. 
and we are already on it. So many provisions have been made so far. And more that are required, we are going to make sure that they are all available to be well equipped. To be very well equipped. So there are other things. I have spoken with the leaders outside this network. And there are other things I'm also going to tell them outside this network. We're not going to say everything here because that is our own strength. So to all my Edo people around the world, may the Lord Almighty continue to bless you all. We must begin to reason to help our own place, to help our own people. Charity, they said, begins at home. Let's make our home a place we can relax and feel comfortable. A place we can call home. A place we can come in any time. And be free to look around your own place. Walk around territories. Go around some places that they've been great improvements. You know, go to places. Go for picnic. So we need that freedom. We don't want people to be afraid. If I go here to have picnic with my family, we might be attacked. No. It's only the security network that can give it to you all. We make sure wherever places people like to go, take off time, and those places are secured. So God bless you all. Have a nice day.